Hi, Fraser, and welcome to another review on bags. This time it's the Ping Traverse and the Ping Pioneer for 2022. If we start with the Traverse, it comes in six colors, five, uh, what we describe as men's colors, and one's definitely a ladies' color. Actually, it has even slightly different branding on it, the ladies' one. This has 11 pockets, I'm told. Let me see if I can count that. Probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It definitely says 11 on the website. If you look at the website, I quite often find with the bags that they claim there's more pockets than there actually are. I think some of these, yeah, there's internal ones there, I suppose. There's two in there. You don't have to use them. Free cardboard. Yeah, there's two pockets in there. Is there one internally in here? I suppose you could say that's a secondary pocket in there. So yeah, probably does physically have 11 pockets, but the main thing you need to know is it's got enough space for everything. There is absolutely plenty of space. The thing, the thing that seems to be different from last year on this is these little magnetic magnetic yeah they are magnetic flap sort of pockets in there i'm not sure exactly what you would put in that yet but it looks a nice design yeah i'm not 100 i mean you could put drinks and stuff in there but there is actually an insulated drinks pocket in here it's really big I sometimes wonder whether that let's get that in there as well whether actually that just would be the main ball pocket and f various other things as well and that it's, it's, yes, it's drinks as well, but it might have been an idea to have made one of those insulated or both of them. Anyway, you've got absolutely plenty of room to get any sort of size of bottle in there. Loads of balls, teas. There's a little, as I say, a little double compartment in there so you can section stuff off. But again, you've got stuff up here as well. A little bit of plastic, lots of free plastic and cardboard with this. And then you're into a little soft pocket in there so maybe you're slightly more valuable items in there and um, the obligatory uh glove velcro section can't live without that on both sides pencils in there pens in there a uh, cart strap goes right the way round behind these pockets this looks different to the last one it's sort of a bit more given that that looks easier to do i will try and put it on a trolley in a minute just a couple of different trolleys just to show you how that works. And in terms of lifting it up into the boot, nice handle up there and a nice good proper grab strap at the bottom as well. Cut out base that fits onto virtually any trolley. It's a good bag for going on trolleys this one because it's not an awkward shape. It's quite narrow up there. Having said that, there is plenty of space. So that's the main stuff about that. Let me try and put it on a trolley. Did a wee review on this recently. Good trolley, the Micra from Power Caddy. Look at that. Getting good at that now. Right, and then make sure you always get the bottom of the bag on there. Quite often I've put it on myself. And this thing's up, and you know, it's up here or something. It's not properly down and it doesn't fit properly at the top if you do that. So you've got to have that sat there, around here. And then up here, it's easier not doing this on a table. I wouldn't recommend getting out your car and then find, finding the table and start putting your trolley together on that. It's easier when it's at ground level. So that is pretty secure. You know, I'm shaking that around, that's solid. I mean, that's slightly testament to the trolley because the trolley's got a good cradle in there, but that bag is on dead solid. There's absolutely no faffing around. And it actually just goes straight round the top. My natural inclination there was just to put that round the top. And I didn't even do these fancy cart straps that they engineer in where you've got to go round here and then under the pocket, round the back of this and uh, round here and then invisibly catch it together underneath there. So yes, that works and it looks like it's on there as if by magic because you can't see any any cables or anything but actually you don't need to do it because it's on so securely just round the top underneath that top grab handle that you don't need to bother see that's even quite hard to get out i think what that's for is more 
you know, ride on carts and you get the big bit of cable or whatever it is and then put it through and then clip it all together. And that probably there is makes a lot of sense to do that because going round the top of here with one of the cart strap cables might not be quite as secure. It would be really, really secure. It's not going to fall out the back of the cart if you do that. But for the UK, most people are, well, a lot of people are using trolleys, either power trolleys or, or push trolleys as well. So if it goes on a power caddy micro like that, it's going to go on a, an electric trolley, no problem, really securely. And then try it on a sort of basic bog standard trolley that maybe doesn't have quite as good a, an adjustable cradle as the other one. Is that ever is that going to go down? Ow, nearly hurt my hand. Wasn't that sore, don't worry, I'm all right. And then this one on here, get at the bottom again. And then part strap around there. Again, advise not to do this at great height. There we go, not quite as secure, but that's the thing. You know, by buying sort of cheaper trolleys, sometimes you don't get as solid things. Pretty good there, I think possibly with that one, you might be better going in behind and doing the fiddly cart strap route that they want you to take. Because then you pull that. That was easier than on the micro. Because the micro wanted to fasten underneath the middle of the pocket, whereas that, you can pull that buckle round. So that's solid. That's solid on there. It's good. Yeah. So as I thought, it's going to go on a trolley, no problem. We'll just ram some clubs in it and some gear just to show you what sort of space we're talking about with in terms of pockets. So if we chuck my waterproof suit in here, quite a bulky waterproof suit actually. Good one, Sunderland. Um, and let's see if we both, you know, trousers and jacket go in there, no problem. Sorry, I should be showing you. So that's just one side. That's going in easily. And there's actually still space for a hat and possibly even mitts or something, even on that. And you've still got the same on the other side. So you could take everything under the sun with you to play golf if you wanted. So you are not going to run out of space in a traverse, not remotely. There's no waterproof compartments that I can see there. I don't think that's a major problem. If you've, if you've decided on one of these, you're paying 169 and you haven't gone into the mega bucks territory of waterproof bags, so you're quite happy. You're just taking an umbrella or you're accepting that you'll take a plastic bag and put your wallet in that before you go out. Obviously, you wouldn't dream of having red and white going with this, you'd have to carefully select your head covers to sort of complement the... Um, again, not these. Why am I doing this up in the air? Let's get this off here. Just because I've got the table, it doesn't mean I have to do everything on the table. So these are not in order as well, so don't shoot me down in flames for not having these perfectly in order. I would normally take a lot of time with this. There we go. So is that where I put my putter? No, probably not. Put in there. Quite often have a putter up top with the woods, but I don't know what I do. See, I don't use a cart bag, I use a carry bag. Or a tour bag if I'm doing a tournament or something. Anyway, so that's that's them all in there. There's plenty of room there. It's pretty it's pretty Norm, you can have your clubs woods in there or your woods at the top, whatever way you want to do it. No, I won't judge you. Put that back in there. So, yes, um, traverse really good. Prices have gone up a bit. It used to be about 140, uh, 140 pounds, and it's now 169, uh, as far as I could see everywhere on, in, on the internet. If prices have gone up, container ships are costing 10 times as much as they used to, so bags are bulky to ship over take up a lot of space in the container ships and so it wasn't ever a surprise that they were going to go up. I think materials, everything's going up. So 
and then getting your hands on them is going to be tricky as well you know it's it's it got to the stage where you know people were being a lot less picky with bags last year i noticed because you just couldn't guarantee getting them in again you know and it was just if you have a good supply of them and a good stock in in, in a shop then you people were just buying what they could get you know and rather than saying no i don't i'll, I'll get a different color but you order me that in. and it would normally have been in in two or three days and now you know, you're in the lap of the gods about when it's actually going to come in. There are quite a few colours, um, and all I would maybe suggest is, you know, strike while the iron's hot if you um, if you want one, because they might run out. Okay, so on to the Pioneer. Now, the Pioneer is a bigger bag, a little bit heavier. The Pioneer is £199 and £7 in weight, 3.17 kilograms. So it's quite a bit heavier than the Traverse and you do notice it when you pick it up it has 14 pockets I'll take its word I'll take Ping's word for that and 15 way top so you could uh, make you could actually get yourself disqualified if you filled that I don't quite know why it's got 15 way top because it should have an umbrella holder so yeah it is at the back Umbrella holder, by the way, in the traverse at the back, but not in the way of any of the straps. And then a little bit for it at the bottom to go in there. So it's in a good position. Right, so Pioneer is not a one that I do, I do a lot because it's £200. And that's probably gone up from what it was, but it's not water. Feels a more solid material, possibly a wee bit more water resistant than, than the Traverse, but I mean, it doesn't say it's waterproof, so it's not waterproof. Pocket arrangement. Okay, so nice magnetic one in there, free plastic section you get in there. Again, a little inner section there as well. That's quite a big, deep pocket, that. And then you've got a nice, just a open pocket there. That'd be quite useful. Again, oh, it's only got one side for holding your glove on. Ooh, you know, we'll mark down points for that. And then this is a pocket in the side here, a sort of hidden pocket that I don't know what particular use you might make of that, because it's not really hidden, because there's a massive zip at the side, so people were trying to rifle through your bag, then they're gonna use not really hidden. Uh, pen, pencils in there, nice pockets at the side here for that sort of furry one in there and another I think it's just identical on the other side oh no it's not furry on that side it's kind of mesh on that side it's the same size outer pocket there of the main thing still easy enough to get into that it's maybe not quite as much give on these pockets as it was in the traverse but it's still easily big enough in fact let's stick the the waterproofs in straight away and see what they're like one in there and that one in there so remember we got these easily in in the traverse and again easily in there in fact even more room than the traverse that's impressive because that's one side that was a wee bit tougher to do up than i thought it was going to be just need to make sure that's out of the way yeah that's fine it's just as i said it's not quite as much give when you when you're doing that but there is so much space just got to watch you line that up. The zips do feel pretty solid, I have to say. But there is, I mean, there's absolutely mountains of space in there. Yeah, 15 way top. So get 15 clubs in and get yourself disqualified. Not a problem. You couldn't get yourself disqualified with the Traverse, unfortunately, because that's actually only got 14. Usual thing with a strap at the back. Uh, umbrella holder is... Yeah, it's the same idea as the as the traverse that goes through. That feels a wee bit tight. You know what? I'm going to try that out. Well, ping umbrella should be able to go in here no problem, and it does. It felt like it was a wee bit tight, but it's not. So that's that's quite nice. Kind of plastic rubberized bit for your putter in there is quite nice. In fact, I don't even know if you would need a head cover. Oh, you do. It's too high up. Now forget that. But it is nice and rubberized in there and quite soft feeling. Right, so magnetic pocket down. It is magnetized that one, but also zippable. That's quite a nice pocket that, I like that. And then this is 
decent pocket in there. And that's a three plastic bags again. A massive drinks, cooled, cooler pocket there. So yeah, it looks good. Cart strap section around there for it to go in. Let's try that on a trolley and see if it's any better or different to the other one. Try this on a on the cheaper trolley, which sometimes isn't as good at being secure. So you wouldn't really go around there, just around the top, because there's nothing really to stop that coming off. You haven't even got a grab handle over the top of that. So we'd be going through the cart strap here and round. It's not that amazing on that particular trolley. That's fiddly. And if you're like most people who leave about three minutes spare once they arrive in the car park, you don't want to be mucking around with that. So that, yeah, and even then, that's it pulled tight. Hang on, I've got it on at the bottom. That's not fair. It's, it's solid. It is solid once it's on, but it's a wee bit bigger than the Traverse. So you've got a little bit more to do just to make sure that it goes. And that's, that's unfortunately just, locked itself right in a position where the cart strap thing, I would almost say slightly over-engineered that wee bit there. They need to, I mean, just having that little plastic bit over the top like the Traverse has got is almost enough for the strap to go around. It won't ride up, maybe apart from if you were on an actual ride-on cart. Not maybe quite as good as I hoped, but because it did move around a little bit. Let's see what it's like on the mi Power Caddy Micra. Uh, so my natural reaction would be just to go around here first of all and see if it's felt solid enough. Well, it does, and it would stay on that because the micro's really got a very sort of tight cable around there, which is, feels really solid already. But if you really wanted to belt and braces job, then you would go around here and under the car strap thing, which was a wee bit easier to do than I thought. And then when you're attaching it around the middle, that makes slightly more sense. It works better on the pioneer if you go and you actually use the cart strap thing whereas you don't really need to use the cart strap thing on the traverse but it's solid it's on there it's good oh we're not really putting these up are we putting these up against each other i suppose we are it's 30 pound difference so if i was getting one myself put myself in the position of a cart bag purchaser I don't think there's any question I'd go for the Traverse, to be honest. It's just that, in fact, that it's quite a bit lighter feeling. Um, they're both not waterproof, so you've obviously made the decision to go down that route if you're going, if you're looking at these, these at all. And yes, you've got more space, definitely got more space in the Pioneer. So if you take tons of stuff and you feel like you might need all the space you can get then then the pioneers your man but i i think it's the i think it's the winner if we we're doing a winner i think it's the traverse just based on the price based on the fact that it's lighter it still seems good quality fractionally easier to get in and out of these pockets with just a bit more give didn't seem to want to stick the zip sort of tried to stick a little bit on that and then you've got pretty much really similar pocket space okay yeah it's not quite as big but it's all positioned roughly in the same way i'm not sure about whether these are an absolute necessity but it might be the sort of thing you actually get used to putting your drinks in or something like that and you find it quite useful but the i mean they're both good there's absolutely nothing wrong with either of them um, I would just say, on the balance of it, I, I think the Traverse is slightly better. Okay, well, we'll leave it there. If you've got any questions, in the, put them in the comments, and I'll, I'll tr try my best to answer them. And try to do subscribe. I could do with some more subscribers. Always welcome. And press the like button if you thought it was all right as well. So thanks very much for watching. And as I say, I will do... Once I get the new other ping bags in, like the all the carry ones, I will do a review on that as well. Okay, thanks.